Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Coach O'Connor with my model Bennett. And in this video, we're going to talk about the load and step. Our last video covered the stance, so feel free to go back and look at that. But this one is the load and step. So, once we have a good stance, we're going to load and step. And the load and the step is a couple things it's not a wind up, but it's a timing mechanism, and it's something to get your body in motion because an object in motion stays in motion. So we have to go back a little before we go forward. So how do we do that? So we take a little step with a front foot, a little step right toward the pitcher, land softly on the inside part of the front foot. Don't transfer any weight at all. Try not to move your head at all while you're doing this. When your front foot goes forward, your hands come back. They're loaded up and ready to explode. Hands and feet have to be opposites. So when your hands come back and stop, the handle, you'll see, is pointed right at the catcher's face. Good. And so this is our load and step. Uh, the other thing that's important, and I almost forgot, is when you do this, keep your back knee inside of your back foot. So when we're loading, we're loading into the back leg, not onto the back leg. You don't want your back knee coming over your back foot, you'll lose power. So load into your back leg, not onto your back leg. So how you can practice this at home is in, stand in front of a mirror and just do it over and over and over again. Make sure your foot and your hands are doing the opposite thing and make sure you're not transferring weight and make sure your back knee is inside your foot. And that is the load and step. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the hips.